Hello, this is just a quick video tutorial on how to add a simple kick drum pattern to an existing uh, drum pattern in Band in a Box 2021. Um, so what I currently have selected is this uplifting rock two style. And what I'm looking to do is just add a simple quarter note pulse kick drum beat uh, for these two bars here at this at the beginning of this B section. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a utility track. Uh, you may have all of your utilities tracks displayed, uh, but if not, uh, and your screen looks similar to mine, you can click on this little I button here, and it'll bring up all the optional tracks that you can add to your mixer window. So I'm gonna go ahead and add utility one, and then I'm gonna go up here and select the plugins tab. And then I'm going to click in this field here where it says default synth, and I'm going to select choose high Q patch plugin. Now we have quite a few options to select from and actually our, our drums are right here at the top, but in case your list is longer, you can just type in drum. And I think for our purposes that this acoustic rock kit will, will suffice. Uh, it should match the drums that we already have loaded in here, the real drums. So I'm going to press OK once that's selected. And then what I'll do is I will click on measure 17 here on my chord sheet. Make sure that my utility track here is selected. And then I'm going to select notation view. So from here, I actually already had it in editable notation mode, but yours might look more like this. So in order for us to add the kick drum notes, we're going to have to have it in an editable notation mode. So you'll click this button here, and it'll bring up some, uh, some dotted lines here. Um, that is, uh, those are the places that we can actually add notes on the staff. So um, to do so, uh, we're going to actually add the, the kick, and it's, it's quite low off the bottom of the staff. So I'm just going to go ahead and click and see, I, I kind of lucked out and actually landed right on it. But if you don't, no worry, you can actually just click and drag the note and you can hear the different uh, drum notes. So you just drag it down to where you hear a kick and you'll be good. So like I mentioned earlier, I just want kind of a quarter note pulse uh, in this bass kick. So I'm just going to add them. Uh, I'm going to add quarter notes. Uh, to each beat. So just go through and click. Great. And you might have a little tide note here overhang, and that's no problem. We'll get rid of that by clicking rest, and then we'll click on that note, and I'll get rid of it. So now we've got the kicks entered. So what we'll do next is we'll go back to our chord view just because it's, it's easy and we have all of our bars displayed. And we'll right click on measure 17 and we're going to select bar settings. Now, because what we're doing here is, is substituting the, the kick drum part for the, the standard uh, drum part that's that's in here, the real drums drum part, we're going to actually mute the real drums part. So at measure 17, we would like to mute. And when we select that, all measures beyond 17 will have the drums muted. So we're going to want those drums to come back in in uh, measure 19. So we'll select measure 19 from up here. And we're going to select back to normal. So what that'll do is it'll bring the drums back in. Since there's no other notation on the, uh, on the uh, kick drum part, we don't have to worry. We don't have to mute anything there. So it, it just won't play anything. So it should sound like we want it to. So I'm just going to press OK. And just to make sure that this is sounding the way we want to, I'm going to just double click on measure 15 here and give a listen.
great, sounds pretty good. Now, uh, sometimes it the the kick drum might be a little bit overpowering when you first load it in, and you more than likely want to have the volumes kind of match uh, what's going on in the the drum part. So, if for instance you you play it and it's too loud, you can adjust the fader right here that's just above the utility one track. Just bring it down a little bit in volume so that it better matches the uh, other drum set. And other than that, I think that about does it. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to us at PG Music. And hope this was helpful.